So let's just get in here and just take a quick look. Now, I have not installed this. I'm just using it on a USB flash drive. And this is one of the nice things about Linux is that you can just buy a 16 gig flash drive and install Linux to it. Um, and you can just boot it up, try it out. Even, if, even without wiping Windows, you can try it and see if you like it. So that's what we're doing tonight. So this is LMDE and it has the branding of Linux Mint. It just looks like it. And it's version 3, a.k.a. Cindy. And it's pretty zippy, even from my cheap little USB flash drive. And it looks sleek. So this is the operating system. So you think in terms of Microsoft Windows or Mac OS, well, this is a replacement for that. This is LMDE. So let's get in under okay. the hood. Um, right out of the box, we've got GNU Image Manipulation Program. Super. Uh, yeah, what does that look like? It's 2.8, so it's an older version. Uh, but hey... You can always... Uh, you can just upgrade that, can yeah. you? Well, you can. And the, th the difference here is that we're using LMDE, which is based on Debian, versus Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu. So Ubuntu's version supports PPAs. Okay. So you can more easily get those more current things if you use a PPA repository. This is, is Debian-based. Right. So you're limited to what is available in the Debian repositories, or you can find the... DPK, uh, the deb file, right. or you can, um, you can install it from source. So it's, it's a little bit of a different way to do it, just as far as that goes. But it comes with it. 2.8 is not obsolete by any stretch, but 2.10 would blow your mind. What do we got? Firefox web browser? We're not talking like Ice Weasel or anything. Like, this is the real deal. YouTube. Dot com. Does YouTube work out of the box? That's my question, Sasha. That's a, a good test. Let's go to Category 5 TV. And let's go there. All right. Right out of the box. There she goes. Oh, that's live. Whoa, that's trippy. That's weird. I clicked on the live video. Just broke the internet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a causality <laughs> loop. <laughs> All right, so YouTube works right out of the box, and it's zippy, eh, guys? Like, this is pretty darn good, and I'm just, I'm literally just booting from a USB flash drive. I never right. had to install it. You'll notice that on my desktop, I've got an install Linux Mint button, which if I've decided, hey, this is the one, I can get rocking on it. Uh, what else does it come with? Okay, so internet, we've got hex chat, cool. Thunderbird is for email. It's like an Outlook Express kind of thing, but it has plug-in extensions and add-ons, so you're able to take it one step further, add calendaring and things like that. However, it does not support things like Zimbra. There's no Zimbra connector for Thunderbird, which I'm really disappointed in the Zimbra development team for not having proper support for Zimbra connector on Linux. Very disappointed in you folks. We need to see evolution um, support it. But it's still an email client. If you've got Gmail or whatever, you can use that. Transmission is for BitTorrents. Cool, it comes with it. Microsoft Office clone called LibreOffice. There it is, Sasha. It comes with it out see? of the box. Cool. Yeah, let's go into Calc because Calc is like the Excel clone, if you will. I, I hate to use the word clone, but it kind of is. I mean, it opens and saves to Excel format. It right. works with the same formulae. And it is, in all essences, Excel. What do you see on your screen? I mean, it, that's what it looks right. like to me. And that's how it operates. I mean, it uses the same sum equations and formulas and everything else. That's Calc. And there's yeah. also Writer, which is like Microsoft Word. Word. If, and I only say that because... If you're coming from Microsoft Windows, I want you to know that there's an alternative that is free. Like, keep that in mind. This entire operating system, including all the software that I'm looking at right now, is totally free. 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 <laughs> you can bold free. it, underline it. Oh, my goodness. What can't you do? This Highlight. is good. I want it to be very clear. Free. Free as in dollars. Free as in beers. <laughs> No free beer is they will provided. Get, they will give you free beer. <laughs> they won't. They won't. They probably won't. But understand that when something is free, you didn't have to pay for it. Then you can afford to get your own. Free as in beer. Free as in also the freedom aspect. Exactly. what I should say. Because you are free to share it. If you love it. That's true. Give it to Sasha. Give it to your family members and everything else. You're free to share it. 
Uh, okay, moving along the list here, real quick, just a rundown. I love the way it looks. Sasha, I've got to be honest, it looks good. It's intuitive. It looks user-friendly. Looks good. I don't see anything out of the box that I dislike. What are all these icons? Okay, Firefox. These look like favorites. Software manager, what's that? That's going to be just the basic manager. I would prefer to use Synaptic for sure. Does it come with it? It does. So I can just run Synaptic Package Manager. That's the one I prefer. That's how you install programs on Linux. One of the right. package managers. Cool. So if would something's this, missing, you can just search for it and add it. Would this do the video editing you wanted to do? Like, is um, It's possible. I mean, because DaVinci Resolve is available for Linux. It's not Linux's problem. It's right. that we need software that is good enough. Got it. And DaVinci Resolve, I only mentioned because they're probably the closest to a proper video editor right now on Linux. Um, so that's probably where I'm going to start going. One thing that I do want to know is what we see when we go Mint Meta Codex. So this is a package that doesn't come pre-installed, and it adds all the packages required for multimedia support in Linux Mint. So if you want to be able to play videos, if you want to be able to play proprietary file formats, mark that for installation, say mark, and then apply. And what that's going to do is it's going to download those meta things, codecs and everything else, and it's going to install them on your computer for you on Linux Mint or LMDE in this case. Right. Really quickly, really easily. It says it's only going to take 28 seconds to be able to get that support. Incredible. So I'm kind of impressed right now. If you haven't looked at LMDE yet, I think it's worth giving it a chance at least to look at it. Um, if you're new to Linux, I would, I would recommend that you instead look at uh, Linux Mint um, if you're interested in the look of this and the feel of this. And right. the reason I say that is because it's more polished. It's even more polished. It's got a much bigger community and um, it is based on Ubuntu which is a little more user friendly when it comes to things like setting up graphic drivers and stuff like that. When you say a bigger community, like if you had it, like say I have it on my mm -hmm. laptop. Yeah. Now I default a lot of my questions to you, sure. right? You are my community. And where do I get the answers? I go to the forums. I right. go to Okay, so that's what the community is, sure. right? So if I were if I didn't know you and I was here and I had a question, I would just, I would go to a forum and that forum would have the answers. Absolutely. That, yeah. okay. And if not, you ask the community and they get back to you and, okay. you know, it, it's, it's the, again, that community feel of Linux where, hey, you just ask other users. You, you've got me and you ask me a lot of right. questions and that's cool. But, but you, you may want to get into the forums and try that out too. Right. And if you're watching, you can also ask Garby, just, yeah, just so you ahead. know. It's not just, it's not just me. Live at Category5.tv. And mm -hmm. Garby, yes, of course. <laughs> I would go to you. Um, I would go to the chat room for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, we, uh, and that again comes back to community. Category 5 has a great community, and we've got a lot of Linux users as well. Random funny chat room thing. I don't, I don't typically, I can't typically through the week go into the chat room mm -hmm. when we're not live, but I have. It's like called work. I know. Yeah. Life. Uh, um, I have gone into the chat room at, at times mm -hmm. and I, like, it, it was like the first time I actually realized that it still exists outside of the time we're here. Oh, okay. My mind was like blown. I was so happy. My heart exploded. I was like, okay, good. If I ever have a question, <laughs> this is where I'll be. There you go. Check out Linux Mint or LMDE, two different pieces of software. Linux Mint being based on Ubuntu, LMDE being based on Debian. Get them at linuxmint.com.